Greetings fellow traveler. Today I also want to remind you of the surroundings. All the surroundings that you keep near you. Environment, if you will. Pay attention to it all. Roll this window over here to the back in the background. People's places, things to hold on. For myself, I find my peace in nature. Why? The sounds, the vibration, the energy that you're surrounded by. It's true essence, Mother Nature. I love it. That's for me. For you, it might be certain kinds of music. For you, it might be certain kinds of films. It might be certain people if you find those people. Whatever works for you. But know that all these things that are outside of us are a reflection of us. So be mindful of who has access to you, of what has access to you. It's your power. It's your choice. It's your authority. It's not what you're supposed to do. It's what you choose to do that makes the world that you see and recognize. I say this a lot and I'm going to keep saying it because it's the truth, my truth. It's not about perfection. It's not even about ultimate efficiency. It's simply about peace of mind. I have things that I do for myself that just chill me out. Those are my things. That's why I don't share all of it. Those, those are my things. And once you share things with the world, the world does what the world does. It makes chaos of it. So find those things for you that bring you peace. Hold it near and dear to your heart. Don't expect anybody else to understand it. Just accept it for what it means to you. If it reminds you that we are in a world of love and light, hold on to it near and dear. If it reminds you of how chaotic the world is like the news, push it away. You don't need it. Unless you like that energy. And that's a whole other discussion to have with yourself. But I'm... I'm I'm sharing this message because I found myself in a moment of reflection this morning asking myself the value of why. You see, I, I've been in a place before where I was hardcore self-improvement. I still I still like self-improvement, but I was in it uh, I was in it for different reasons. I was hardcore accomplishment. I was hardcore be the best of the best, be the top of the top. Why? That's a question that comes up in that realm a lot. What's your why? As uh, what Simon Sinek says, I love the question, but I was applying it in a unhelpful context. Meaning, if I'm achievement, 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 and I say, okay, well, this is my why. I'm doing it for this kind of a uh, this kind of lifestyle. I'm doing it for this person or that person. Have your why. Essentially, you have your reason. At this point, I dig a little deeper. But why is that why sufficient enough? Why is having all that money enough? Why do you feel like that's enough? And then as I dug deeper and deeper and deeper, it was like, oh, I'm seeking to fill a certain kind of void that I believe money, status, accomplishments will fill, but it never will. So when I get to that why, I'm like, all right, cool. So then look at the things that I do like or that I do love or that I do enjoy. Well, why? Because I love to learn. But why? Because it keeps me curious. But why? Because through curiosity, the world is still a mystery. And if it's always a mystery, then there's always something to keep you engaged and excited about it. Okay, but why? Because anything else is boredom. That's where I start. For me. That's good enough. Because I understand that I do not like boredom. Now, my life to the outside people may appear boring. I could care less. My inner life is rich with curiosity, mystery, and I love every day of my life. Because when I wake up, I can smile and say, yes, what am I looking at today? What am I tending to today? I'm not talking about busy work. 
what am I going to engage in, either mentally, spiritually, with my hands? What am I going to engage in that's going to keep feeding that inner curiosity? See, for me in my life, that's my why. Simply being honest with you. I share this to say for you, maybe asking more why questions will help you find a certain kind of peace of mind. Or help you along your way to fine tune the direction that you seek out. Because you never know, you might be going in the wrong direction. You never know, you might spend years and years and years chasing something that's so elusive and you don't even realize that it is elusive until you get to this point in life that you thought was going to make you happy. I don't know. We all different. I'm sharing it with you because this wasn't shared with me. And I still to this day see people who've been doing things 20 or 30 years and in comparison, their life is good. And they remind you of it every chance they get. But when you read through the lines, when you really sit back and look at their life, not from their perspective, but from your perspective, because that's all you have, you understand that they're the same hamster in a bigger running wheel. So who's really winning? You don't realize that you're still on a running wheel. you just saying, my running wheel is bigger than yours. Does it really matter? No. Nah. In my opinion, it doesn't. What's your opinion? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I hope this helps somebody or at least gave somebody food for thought. Until next time, be blessed.